Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. I feel like it's been, I don't know, a really really long time. I have taken a little break from vlogging. Um, it was deliberate to be honest and the only reason is because every day at the moment is exactly the same. We are still in lockdown here in the UK and it's very very repetitive which makes vlogging very repetitive so i have been kind of giving it a break and just uploading a vlog every now and again today is a sunday and i've got various different things going on so i thought i would vlog today and i am wearing i have to show you this so this was very kindly gifted to me by magical day apparel um, which is run by the lovely yaz and ash and this is their um, great big beautiful tomorrow sweater i believe this one is actually new they also sent one for ian um, a different design so i'll show you that in a sec and then on the arm there's various different designs relating to Tomorrowland so you've got like the Speedway, the People Mover, Buzz Lightyear and Space Mountain. So thank you to Yaz and Ash for sending me this if you're watching I absolutely love it. I really love wearing any kind of Disney clothing every day because it just makes me feel like I have a little bit of Disney in my life which I otherwise don't um, on that note um, I've been switching trips around again so wherever I've been moving my trips forward a month every time I've had to move it again um, no updates there in terms of travel it really depends what happens in terms of the pandemic so that's all kind of very boring and no updates there I do have my filming stuff behind me as you can see because um, we do have a live stream this evening so we don't normally live stream on a Sunday but we're doing an extra one because we didn't have a video on Saturday normally I have a Disney in detail video every Saturday um, but I'm working on one that is taking a long long time to edit so we're going to do a live stream tonight instead do a little quiz or something I think but I do have some other things to do as well today so obviously I'll keep you updated with what I'm doing so it's later on now and I'm downstairs ready to do a call with Ian's family we quite often do that on a Sunday with Ian's parents and his sister and our brother-in-law so we're going to do that then I need to maybe have a look at my animal crossing because I've been very very neglectful normally I do at least go on every single day and I haven't been recently and there has been an update so I need to kind of investigate what the update is I'm very out of the loop I really really haven't played definitely not every day so I might do a little bit of that and also I might get the photos off the memory card that's in my switch because over the last well six months really I've taken loads of photos of various different things on my island and I never get around to uploading them to Instagram so I think I might do that as well okay so it's later on now and as you can see from the crazy lighting behind me we are about to do the live stream and I put these ears on today. These are the, I think they're called Make-A-Wish Blue. Um, I know some of the profit from it went to Make-A-Wish Foundation. I actually got these on Shop Disney UK, but I thought they were perfect with my new sweater from Magical Day Apparel because they match perfectly. So I'm just waiting for Ian. He's making the coffee. We'll do the live stream and then later this evening, I can't remember if I already said we're going to be watching the Super Bowl because it is Super Bowl Sunday today and we have a HelloFresh to make which is called something Super Bowl chicken, I can't remember what but we're going to have that, we're going to have it very late, we don't normally get done with this till 10 but since we'll be up till like 3, um, watching Super Bowl we figured we would have a really late dinner so that is the plan. Time for HelloFresh! So what are we making? Well because it is the Super Bowl tonight we are having Super Bowl spicy honey glazed chicken with cheesy bacon wedges, blue cheese dip and coleslaw. Which is with a perfect some... meal for me and you because we both like different parts of this meal. Yeah, there's going to be modifica modifications. So I probably, instead of having the chicken, mm -hmm. will actually put a couple of my vegan sausages in. Yeah. But I'll eat the wedges. You'll we'll, have the wedges without cheese. That's it. We'll split the <laughs> wedges so that only half has cheese. I'll probably eat the coleslaw. You'll have the coleslaw. <laughs> We may or may not make the blue cheese dip. Yeah, I'm, not, you a, want I'm not a fan of blue cheese dip. Um, but yeah, so we'll make some slight modifications, yeah. but I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think it will uh, be. It says it'll take 45 minutes. Oh, that's quite long. I'm quite hungry. Yeah, I know, Dang. right? We better Never get mind. on it. Yeah, we'll have to get on it. So Ian is on to the wedges first. Yeah. So yes, you're going to be in charge of the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I am going to be in charge of the chicken, but first we have to make our wedges. I'm so hungry. This is so much later <laughs> than we would normally eat because yeah, it's because it's Super Bowl. It's Sunday. like ten fifteen or something right now. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the HelloFresh recipes we get involve wedges. Yes, that's probably <laughs> to do with like what we pick though, exactly yeah. as much as anything. <laughs> and sometimes we do have to adapt things, like we were saying before. So yeah. sometimes like you'll eat the meat and I'll have something instead of that, but we'll ultimately share like most of it. So hmm. HelloFresh does work for us, even though we like different things. I would definitely say like even if you're a picky eater or if you're in a couple or a family where people like different things, you can definitely still make it work. Yeah. 
like some recipes are straight up either something for you or for me mm. um, and we try and like just get like a couple each or whatever but yeah sometimes we definitely can both have the same thing yeah. with with changes and it's, yeah it's quite easy to adapt things to make them work obviously. yeah so i am now going to make this coleslaw which requires the sour cream and the coleslaw mix and maybe i think just some pepper ian is currently dealing I'm coating my chicken Ooh. with a spice flour mix see on the picture the pieces of chicken look way smaller but i think they're gonna it's... cook down i think yeah and actually I think that probably just looks like small pieces, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, we're getting this, and then the sauce is what we're gonna put on at the end. Yeah, so you've got that under control. Yep. So how is your chicken? Yeah, looking good. It's like frying up nicely. It smells good. Yeah, it does. Although the spicy sauce is not, I'm not a huge fan of that. No, that one is <laughs> like Very honey, spicy. sriracha, all sorts. I guess if you didn't like that, you could just have the spicy like powder. Yeah, for sure. Like this was just flour and like a Cajun spice mm. mix. You could totally just leave so it. Yeah, like I don't that. think that was too spicy. It's a little bit different. I would say this one looks the least like the picture. It looks tasty though. Which looks like this. It looks very orange here, but they might have just like you know saturated the picture. Yeah. Sorry, you can hear the TV in the background. We've already got the Super Bowl show <laughs> going. Later. So what time are we? Uh, 1am. 1 1am. 1 We're just coming up on half time. Yep, just coming up to half time. We've just made some coffee. So hopefully that will help me stay awake. Four moments later. And it's basically over, but not quite. It is over. It is over. Yeah. Technically 21 seconds to go, <laughs> but there we go. Yes, and it is so late. Good morning and happy Monday. I sound surprisingly chipper considering I was up till 3.30 watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> so I'm very tired. I've got my Joffreys. Yeah, I haven't even done my hair really. So sorry about that. It doesn't actually doesn't look too bad somehow. Maybe I didn't move around much last night. But anyway, a bit bleary eyed. I'm trying to edit a video um, and it's one that kind of needs a lot of looking back through old footage and stuff, which can be a little bit tedious, but it's fine. I'm working my way through it. Um, I just need to wake up and I still haven't put away everything from the live stream yesterday to be honest um, we have another one on Wednesday so I'll probably just leave that over there I try to always pack it away because I don't like my office to seem too cluttered we need that table to put the laptop on which is where we get the comments coming up um, so I always have to get that out but it's fine I'm just gonna leave it there and pretty much today the main thing on the agenda is this video because it's one where I do have to look back for stuff it takes a really long time to get the footage together and then actually do the editing so most days this week I'm probably going to be working on that um, we might play a game later we've got quite a few big potato games um, that very kindly been gifted to us that we haven't tried out yet so I think we might do that because we haven't done that for a while we just seem to have been so busy like recording and editing podcasts videos doing live streams um, zoom calls with people like it does actually feel fairly busy even though life is obviously very strange um, we are definitely keeping busy, which can only be a good thing. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this for now and I will catch you guys up on what I'm doing in a bit. So we've just had a little grocery delivery. We haven't done a grocery haul for a long time. This isn't a very big shop at all because we do have HelloFresh as well. So I do get a few things, uh, but not as much. So we've got some bread, some carrots, broccoli and potatoes. Like I said, we've got HelloFresh, but I like to have these things on hand just in case I need to make some other meal. Um, I did get Ian some 7up free and this is a cherry one just for him to try that because he does love 7up. Um, I got honey hoops which are basically um, honey cheerios but Asda's own version. Olive oil, I got Ian these um, salt and black pepper crisps because he likes those. Then I have this rhubarb drink and the San Pellegrino, this is the orange and pomegranate because I love both of those. Got some eggs, then some cashews and some peanuts. These Asda cereal bars, they're like a mint chocolate one. I really, really love those. And I just have those in my desk for, you know, just during the day. And also these naked salted caramel ones are so good. I think I originally tried these. There was one in a Degusta box and now I buy them all the time because I absolutely love them. And little treat there, did get some mini eggs because, you know, whenever mini eggs become available, you just have to get on board and that's pretty much it i didn't need milk or anything else it's a fairly small shop um but yeah that's what we got it is way later on now i have another coffee i am so tired after last night i honestly like was almost falling asleep while i was editing 
I am super sleepy, probably gonna end up having an early-ish night tonight. But for now, I'm keeping going. The coffee is just about keeping me fueled. I'm just about to have a video chat with a friend and then I need to figure out some dinner. I don't know, maybe a HelloFresh. Not sure what we'll have, we'll have to see. I'm just so like, yeah, not with it. But it's fine, <laughs> have to plow through. I knew this would happen if I stayed up that late. So yeah, it's all good. And I did get quite far with the editing. Like I said, it's gonna be a complicated one to edit. And as expected, it did take me most of the day to get all the clips together, which ultimately will probably be about five minutes of the video. So that just goes to show how long this type of thing takes. Um, tomorrow I'll have to do the same thing again for some of the other previous trips, but I do think this video will be well worth it. So yeah, it's been overall a good day considering the fact that I've been half asleep. So I'm done with the first round of clips for this video for my Disney in Detail channel. Um, so this isn't the video, this is just all the clips to be included in the video from my two most recent trips. And then tomorrow I've got to do the next hard drive which has probably got two or three trips on it. So it's a big edit but it's good, it's gonna be good. And on that note, I think I'm gonna head to bed. I'm so tired from last night's Super Bowl watching. I really, really, need to get to sleep so I will see you guys in the morning. Hello and happy Friday. So I've had a few days where I haven't vlogged. In fact I don't remember when I started this vlog, who even knows. I've got my very relevant mug today, I'd rather be in Orlando. Really really feeling that today. Um, I keep getting messages um, or reminders I should say coming up on my phone because I should have been there now. Whenever I book dining reservations and stuff even though they've now been cancelled they go into my google calendar and then keep popping up. So I've been getting loads of reminders over the last week that I should have had dining reservations, should have been in Orlando so yeah that is a massive bummer but I know so many people are in the same boat and one good thing this week has been editing the video that is going up tomorrow. So I finally finished it. I was up so late last night getting it done um, but I'm really 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 pleased with it. It's a compilation of my favourite moments and like funny moments, fails, all that kind of thing over the 11 vlog series that I've done over on Disney in Detail. So getting together the footage and finding all the clips really did take a long time but it's been totally worth it. I'm pleased with the end result. I really hope that you guys like it. Um, you probably, this will probably go up first I think so you probably won't have seen it yet. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you've seen it and if you liked it. Um, it was really really fun to edit and although I have been feeling you know kind of bummed out that I'm not in Florida it's been nice to actually put that video together um, I was worried it might be kind of sad but actually it was the opposite it was really really nice to relive all of that so yes I finally got that done which is good and Ian is just finishing off the podcast because that is going up today for our patrons and actually on that note um, another thing I've been doing today is getting some of the rewards ready to post out. Each year we have a new design of various things this is actually the magnet for this year uh, it's a slightly different style to the last one we had and obviously it's got um, Patreon supporter 2021 and the pin badge is similar but a different colour and a different little um, Spaceship Earth guy design and my favourite is the coaster that I designed I just think this is really cute and I really really love that so I'm getting these kind of packaged up I always wrap them in tissue and make them nice and everything to send out so if you guys are a patreon member and depending which tier you're on these will be making their way to you soon so i've just got my erin condren softbound planner out because i'm going to be doing a bit of forward planning for disney trips as i always say i don't know if any of them are going to be happening or when they're happening but i still have to go ahead and kind of plan what i'm doing and i just wanted to show you this new thing i've got which is amazing so i always write everything in pencil for my disney trips because especially at the moment you don't know what's going to be happening and this is the little pencil case I've been using with my planner at the moment and it's a little bit small for my pencil eraser and I managed to find these on Amazon I didn't really know that something like this existed I just I've never seen it before they look like little pens so they easily fit inside your pencil case so it's like a really nice slim size and looks like a pen but it's actually a pencil eraser so I love that and it came from Amazon I think it was actually a massive pack it was a pack of 12 of these and a bunch of the replacement um, erasers so I've got enough that I won't need to reorder for absolutely ages so yeah like I say it was just Amazon I'll link it below in case anyone's interested but I just find it really good because you can be quite precise and it just easily fits into your pencil case. So it's later on now and we're about to watch crime scene the vanishing at the Cecil Hotel Except they keep calling it the Cecil. I know in the and States people pronounce Cecil, yeah. we pronounce it Cecil, they pronounce it Cecil. I say they pronounce it that way, that is what it's called. 
because that's where it is. But right. to me, when I see that written down, I'm just like, well, that's the Cecil Hotel. Yeah, we say <laughs> Cecil, but they say Cecil. But anyway, we're about to watch this, which I think is new on Netflix, or it's certainly new to us. So, yeah, it came yeah. up as number one in the UK today. Oh, okay. So yeah, sounds interesting. Super creepy hotel. I'm getting a Tower of Terror kind of vibes. Mm, definitely. <laughs> I do not know what is going on with my hair tonight. Something strange is happening right around here. No idea, so please excuse that. So we're done watching that show for now. Um, Ian started falling asleep, and whenever you're watching crime things, if someone starts falling asleep, you totally miss like really important things about it. So uh, we put a hold on it. I think there's more episodes to go, but it's pretty crazy. It's like, yeah, it's it's just mad. Um, so it's, it's quite good though, it's quite interesting. So we'll probably finish watching that tomorrow. Um, what else are we doing tomorrow? I get so confused about which days are which. So tomorrow's Saturday. Um, we do have some things to do around the house, um, some little things that need fixing and stuff like that. I may end up doing some vlogging, but this vlog I am going to finish here. Um, so if I do include anything like that, it will be in the next one. I'm not sure how long this vlog has been. Like I said at the moment, these vlogs are kind of repetitive. There is not a lot going on around here, but I know you guys still like to be in the loop on what's going on and have little updates and stuff. So I hope you've still enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how you're getting on. I really hope everyone is staying safe. I hope you're okay. It is a very, very tough time for everybody at the moment. And I just hope that you are taking time for yourself where you can and giving yourself a break. It can be very, very stressful. I know a lot of people have their children at home. They're trying to help them with homeschooling and stuff. And that can be really challenging. And, you know, lots of different people have got different circumstances happening, which are tough. So I hope you are all okay. As always, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for always watching these vlogs, being so supportive, um, both here and Instagram and on my Disney Detail channel and everywhere else. You are all awesome. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.